What is up? It's your boy, and today I'm dropping a value bomb on YouTube. We're going over click-through rate manipulations for your Google My Business. This is by far one of the biggest things you can do to increase your rankings in 2021. So buckle your seatbelt and let's go. And if you want to get results that look like this, wrong way, that way, that's around a 10 mile radius and I'm going to zoom out even further. This is for a two worded keyword. Uh, our main focus keyword for this Google My Business listing. I'll show you it's going to blow your mind. All right, now what we've all been waiting for is we're going to pull out the bot. Okay, this you can actually send targeted traffic from any geo points that you want. And what I use is this DTR booster. This is an awesome, crazy, really, really cool tool, and you can get absolutely granular with the data. Now, first things first is you're going to want to get a proxy. I'm using Package Stream for this and plug it in. It's super easy, guys. If you don't know how to use a proxy, guys, it's easy. There's plenty of tutorials out there. All right, next, guys, we can set up our tasks. Okay, so you can give this a, pro pro uh, a project name. Excuse me. So we'll just put uh, YouTube test. All right. Now, we're going to do a GMB search. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is first, we're going to use a custom geo location. You can find a, a geo location from here. Let's just say uh, Miami, Florida. Okay, now if you just want to randomize it, this is a great way. If not, you should be testing through local Viking, local Falcon, and you should have an idea of how good your proximity settings are are and where exactly you need to send this traffic from okay the goal is start sending the traffic right on the outside uh where you're where you start to fall in rankings and then push out as time goes so for this purpose right here all i did was copy and paste just those the first those two random points that we just generated and what i like about this is you can say hey we want to go three miles out four miles out right and we can go two miles out one mile okay and it'll actually generate randomized points for you but once again you should be testing and you should be a little bit more targeted than that all right next we're going to make sure this custom geo point is checked and we're going to do a map search so this is telling them hey you need to go into google maps and, and that's what you're going to click on okay what's really awesome is you can do post interactions knowledge graph interactions as, as long as well as clicking through to your website. Next, what we're going to want to do is the target name. We'll just stick with Empire Plumbing because we did that with the uh, the Google Earth. All right. And then next is we're going to pick our keywords. All right. So we will just type in Plumber Miami um, just for this uh, for this tutorial. Okay. We can put uh, Best Plumbers. Okay. You can type in Plumber Near Me. All right. Hey, you guys getting it? Now, it'll only do one search at a time, so you can just plug in as many as you need. All right, and then next, we're going to put in the uh, Empire Plumbing. I'm not going to exact match it. So, all right, next, uh, I'm going to take off the, well, we'll leave the post interaction on, okay? Now, I'm going to explain this, walk you through it real fast. It's going to, uh, it's got three Google Map retries, the uh, daily visit limit. You can go set your uh, minimum and maximum. So, if you want your daily uh, visits to be 10 and the maximum to be, 12 or 15 or whatever okay just make sure you're not overdoing the traffic all right because then google will just discount all of your traffic inside of your gmb um, you'll see that you got zero impressions um, that's because you overdid it all right uh, next is going to be the duration of the visit so it's going to stay on your website for 120 seconds to 180 seconds uh, max internal link so once it gets to the website it's going to click uh, it's going to click one link uh, the dur uh, duration of the internal visit is 60 seconds with a maximum of 120 seconds. Um, you've got a delay. And then you can do mobile, search, or mix. Okay, I always say switch it up with mix. Mobile usage, 50% is way too high. Um, the highest I would go here would be uh, 30%. Reason being that this is going to run off a Wi-Fi connection um, and not a cellular. So you don't want those to be conflicting and have too much uh, uh, Wi-Fi uh, cell phone service 
connecting to the GMB. It just helps minimize um, your footprint. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and uh, we're going to update the project here. Okay, and then let's let it run. And see. What I like about this is uh, this bot in particular. See, it's went through, it's chosen its geo points um, exactly, and now it's going to go in, do the plumber near me search. Okay, as you can see, Google thinks we're in Miami. It's serving us ads for Miami. All right. Now, what I like about this, see, it doesn't go directly to the maps. It acts like a human, okay? So it's going up and down, and it's, and it's figuring, like, it's not, it's not figuring out. It knows where it's going, but it's acting like a human, okay? It's being unpredictable, okay? It's not going to this. Oh, see, now it's found the, uh, the listing, and it's going to click through the re to the reviews and then click through uh, to the site, just like as with a human would do, all right? Guys, I'm going to set up a part two. That's going to be exclusively only for the Patreon. Um, guys, it would be great if you could spare $5, $20 a month and help me fund some uh, really cool experiments that uh, I'll, I'll be doing and sharing with you guys. It's the 11th today. Um, I should have an, the uh, the video up by this weekend. If not, it would be Monday at the absolute latest. But you can do so many different cool things with this. So many awesome, awesome things. And I'm going to show you some of the results I've got. All right, guys, micro workers, okay? This is a super easy way to set up uh, targeted traffic. You can tell them what keywords to type in, uh, what buttons to click on, exactly what to do. Then you Google those user signals. I'm going to show you how to utilize this. I use this a couple of different ways. Number one is obviously search traffic. Get a user to type in uh, whatever keyword that you want and then to click on your listing. Uh, next would be to send traffic through multiple channels. For instance, Google Maps, Google Sites, et cetera. Now, guys, you don't have to use micro workers. There's a other ton of different platforms out there. So if you don't want to use micro workers, you can still use uh, the techniques that I'm showing you in this video. Let's go. All right, guys, so I'm logged in here, and as you can see, here's a bunch of jobs that people have posted. Um, they're doing a ton of different things. See, if you've got like a Twitter, follow, comment, retweet, like, share, um, Tumblrs, LinkedIn, okay? Uh, website traffic, app downloads. These are all tasks that people are getting paid to do right now. And these majority, as you can see, are to fool the algorithm. All right, I'm, I'm going to show you the top three ways that I utilize micro workers, and I'm going to set those campaigns up with you right now. And to make things easy on you, I'm going to drop templates in the video description below. So if you want to replicate these, all you have to do is copy and paste. All right, so we're inside of here right now, and this is what it looks like when you set up a new campaign. All right, first things, as you can see, you can actually decide on where exactly your tra traffic is coming from. You can go international, Latin America, USA. We're going to pick USA for this tutorial and the United States. And this first campaign that we're going to set up is going to be like a website uh, search and engage, which is basically we want somebody to type in a keyword into Google and then click on our Google Maps listing. So we're going to come down here into SEO and web traffic. And then we're going to type in search and engage, okay? Because so we not only want them to click on our listing, we want them to click through to our website, all right? And we're going to come down here to speed. I would lower the speed so they don't all just come at you at once. 600 is a decent. And we've got our title, search, engage, screenshot. You can put in the actual website name to keep yourself organized. And now we can come down to the instructions. All right, guys, so I copy and paste a uh, template in here, and I'm going to give that to you. So let's go over it real fast, all right? So first things first, we're going to have them perform a Google search from Google.com. Uh, we're going to type in city plus keyword, okay? You can plug in whatever you're targeting uh, here. Or keyword plus city, just make sure you have that city modifier on there, all right? In the map pack, click on website for your GMB. So plug in your listing here. Um, click on more places if it's not in the top three results, all right? Third thing, once they're on the website, in the navigation menu or homepage, select any service, or you plug in a web page here. I like to give them an option so it mixes up those signals, okay? So some people are going to um, the emergency plumbing section, and some people are going to a router service section, right? So it's not all, they're not all lemons going the same way. Um, stay on the page for 45 seconds to a minute, scrolling up and down. Make sure it has those mouse movements. It's very important. Uh, next, you're going to have them pick an option once again. So not everybody's going to the same uh, page, either contact us or about us, okay? And you're gonna stay on there for 30 seconds. And then finally, close the tab, okay? Closing the tab is important because it sends a strong signal to Google that, hey, your search 
intent was satisfied. And finally, the required proof um, after the job is finished is I have them send a screenshot to uh, the page that they closed the tab on. Let's go to the next one. All right, now everything else is going to be the same, but now we're going to send traffic from Google Earth. This is something that I don't see a lot of people do, but it can be very powerful. Reason being is we can actually dictate what the referral keywords were for this traffic. Crazy. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to head over here to Google Earth and launch. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to find our listing. It really doesn't matter um, how we initially find it because we're going to switch out and change those referral keywords. Um, so it doesn't matter. So basically we can do Plumber Miami, and I'm going to show you that just. Okay. So let's say Empire Plumbing. Let's, do we have Hernandez from the other video? No. Okay, so we'll just stick with Empire Plumbing here. Okay, now you see his knowledge. Let me get, move my face out of the way here. You see how his knowledge panel is up here on the right hand side. What we're going to do is we're going to take this URL, copy the entire thing. All right, head back over here to Micro Workers, and we're going to drop it in the uh, template here. Okay, next we're going to do is we can change these. Okay, so we can change this to uh, Plumber with apple pies okay now watch we'll take it and this is what it's going to look like for so the micro order it's going to load up as you can see it's loading and boom right there our listings there, we're gonna have them click on it, okay? And then click on the map, and it's going to take us to Google Maps. Super, super powerful, guys. You know, Google logs this uh, referral traffic keywords, and it's going to build relevancy to your listing, hence better rankings. Next, what we have them do is come over, click on the website, and then perform the rest of the micro working task, which is basically uh, click on the website, stay on the page for 20 to 30 seconds, and choose the following coverage areas or contact us. Once again, you don't want to give them just one uh, choice, it makes it look more natural. Take the screenshot and close the tab. The last thing I'm going to show you guys is just the regular organic ranking. So they're not going to click on the maps, they're not going to go through any channels. They're just going to go and they're going to find your listing inside the actual organic listings. And this is how I do it. Okay. I tell them to perform a Google search, type in your targeted keyword. Okay. In the organic rankings, I like to put in the page and what, what, uh, what, re what number it usually is. So if, say if it's on page four, number uh, uh, 45 to 47 or whatever, um, it kind of gives them an idea of what they're looking at. And so they're going to click on the right thing. The next thing is I said it should look in Google like this, and I put in the title tag and maybe even the meta description. All right. And then once again, we're staying on the site for 45 seconds to a minute. Uh, and then we're going to perform one of the one of the two options to go to uh, different pages and then close the tab. All right, guys, that's it. If you want me to set up CTR for your business or your client's businesses, hit me up. My email is below. Um, that's it, guys, for 2021. Let's make this the greatest year for our businesses, and let's keep it moving. Uh, we've got more awesome, awesome content along the way. This is part three of the Advanced Local SEO Series. We've got a lot, lot more awesome, awesome, like you guys aren't going to believe, uh, the videos that we have coming out. All right, that's it. It's your boy. Peace.